Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to sync files and folders. I'm going to tap on the document manager button and here we can see the cloud accounts that I've already added. We went over adding and managing cloud accounts in a previous episode, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. I'm going to tap on this box account here and I'm going to tap on my sheets folder and right now we're looking at my files in this folder in thumbnail view. I want to look at list view, so I'm going to tap on the list button here to switch it over. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, these files here have a device icon to the left, as well as a badge with a green check mark on the right. That means that these files have been synced and I have local copies on my iPad. These files here have a cloud icon to the left, which means they're still in my box account on the server and I've never synced them. So I'm going to tap on edit and select some of these so we can sync them down so I can show you how to do that. I have these four selected. Now I'm going to tap set and done. And you'll notice that the badge has now changed. So these four files now have been set to sync. The next time I tap sync on the bottom left here, those, those four files along with every other file and folder in my box account that I've set to sync previously will be synced and have the latest copies downloaded. I can also tap on the badge itself which will sync down just that individual file. I'm going to scroll down here to find it and you'll notice now that the badge has changed. I have a green check mark and a device icon so this file has now been, syn been synced down to my device. I'm going to tap this file to open it and I'm going to go ahead and add a quick cloud markup because I want to show you how you can mark up a document and save those changes back up to the server. On the document tab I'm going to tap on the green check mark and then tap save. I'm going to bring up my document manager again and I'm going to scroll down to find the file. You'll notice that the file has still has the device icon. It's still local but it's out of date. So I'm going to tap to push my local copy up to the server with my changes and once that's done everyone else that has access to this box account can open the file and see the markups that I've added. I'm going to tap on my root folder here and I'm going to tap edit. I want to show you how to set folders to sync. It's the exact same process. I've selected these two folders. I'm going to tap set and done. And now the next time I tap sync, the entire contents of these two folders will be synced and downloaded to my iPad. So that's it. Thanks for watching.